And in the studio with me this morning is Final Day with the Paradise Center for the Arts, Executive Director Ryan Heinrichs. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. It is uh, kind of bittersweet, of course, you know, coming in, especially on a Monday of yeah, all days. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it is my official last day. Uh, we cleaned out the office on Friday, but tonight is our annual meeting. And again, if you're a Paradise Center for the Arts member or non-member, we do encourage you to join us at 7 o'clock tonight down at the Paradise, 321 Central Avenue, to hear about our 2014 year in review and talk a little bit about what 2015 has to come. Oh, okay. Uh, can you give us any... Uh, well, it's words? officially out there now, yeah. So, I mean, we'd like to, <clears throat> of course, you know, tell our members first tonight. But uh, 2014, uh, we did finish the year in the black again. Uh, so uh, it is opening day, Major League Baseball. So <laughs> I would I would day. like to say that I went three for five, you know, in my five years at bat here. Uh, three good. years in the black, which is pretty good. Um, you know, again, we uh, we did some major uh, principal reduction on our debt again. Uh, in 2014, we finally paid off the line of credit. Most of you know we had a $150,000 line of credit that was exhausted mm -hmm. when I started back in February of 2010. And that was all paid back uh, by September of last year. So we have that reopened if we needed to That's use great. that. Uh, hopefully we don't. Yeah. And then um, our $625,000 mortgage is down to 525000 So we've paid $100,000 of that over the last five years as well. So That's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's like 30, my, not a mathematician, 36% you know, debt reduction over the last five years. So there's definitely a long way to go, you know, $525,000. So continue to support the arts and strengthen our community here in Faribault. Uh, but uh, it's been a good run. We've had a lot of fun and, you know, the programming is in place. And as you well know, we've got our Power 96 gallery season. You know, we've got our um, uh, KGP companies music season, our mm -hmm. Faribault Daily News theater season, our Crossroads family season. So all of our seasons are in place. We've got some great programming for the rest of this year. And uh, the new executive director and staff will be taking a look at 2016. Uh, the dates are already set for the next two years. Uh, so we've set that up before I left and hopefully everything will be moving forward. Great. What's, uh, what's in your future? Yeah, so I've got a really great opportunity coming up. Um, I started my career in arts administration as the public relations intern unpaid uh, <laughs> yeah. at the, uh, the Ordway Center for the Performing Arts in 2001 out of college. And um, about three months later, they brought me on um, in marketing, marketing assistant, and then marketing communications coordinator uh, for about a couple of years up at the Ordway. And then, of course, as most of you know, I went into for-profit sales with uh, Huckle Publishing and then uh, Service Master by I at Service Master Cleaning Franchise Sales and Marketing before the Paradise. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Corporate Relations Division at the Ordway Center has actually been something they've been looking at for a while, and they've kind of re redeveloped the whole um, advancement department. Oh, okay. uh, so they created this new position called Corporate Relations and Sponsorship Manager. And so I will be heading back to St. Paul uh, starting next Wednesday. I think I've got two meetings this week. Uh, but uh, starting next Wednesday, I'll be uh, working at the Ordway again. Oh, fantastic. That's yeah, nice. very excited to nice be back in St. Paul. And um, I'm obviously going to miss, you know, a lot of things, you know, that we've done here at uh, the Paradise and Faribault. I won't be a stranger, you know. Um, <laughs> That's you know, good. I've got two kids and I want to come back for the Crossroads family season, obviously. And, Definitely. You know. Oh, there's um, some great performers during that. Yeah. And it's just such a really great, you know, venue down here. And it's so, and I still live in Northfield, you know, yeah, so yeah. just shooting down here on the weekend to catch a show with the kids. And, I was going to ask you if you were going to continue to live in Northfield or if you're like yeah, you, you know, uh, there's no real reason for me to, you know, move up to the cities, you know, um, and I've got my family in town and, um, and I've been there since 2001. So I've really developed some friendships and relationships in Northfield and Rice County and Faribault. And, you know, so I'm very excited to be, you know, not so much commuting excitement, you know, especially come January, you know, yeah. um, it, yeah. it, it always happens that I start this opportunity in the summer when it's easy to commute. Um, I think there's going to be some opportunities, especially with me. I'll be in, uh, I'll be on the road a lot, actually. I'll be a lot of meetings in Minneapolis and St. Paul and um, out outstate markets as well. We're we're really hoping to um, grow the corporate relations division, you know, up there, and not just in the Twin Cities. You know, all of our patrons and our constituents and donors they come from all over the region, you know. So we're all going to be looking at that as well. So sounds good. Sounds like. Uh... Sounds like a new adventure for you. Right? Yeah, it really is. You know, and I'm very thankful and I'm thankful to all the listeners who have supported us. You know, so thank you to everybody listening for supporting the Paradise, supporting me in the last five years. 
Uh, it's been great to bring on some of our talent. And Mike, thank you for you know helping promote our shows all the time no and problem, ticket giveaways. And my pleasure. Yeah. So we've got a really great you know program coming up here. I think uh, at the end of the month, our buddy C. Willie Miles will be yeah, back. And I saw that. Yeah. I was very happy to see. So hopefully he'll be back. in the studio here. Unfortunately, I won't be with you guys. You know, but uh, hopefully you guys will come out and support C. Willie. And um, this is the year that you know we're, I think we'll get pretty close. But I really want to try to sell that show out. You know. So if you're listening. And you love C. Willie Miles and you love clean humor and storytelling, you know, April 25th, come out and see Willie. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Unfortunately, I can't be there this time. Uh, but uh, tickets are 17 for members, 22 for non members. Uh, so, again, that thousand member campaign, I just talked to Julie uh, right before Friday when I left. You know, we're at like 568 members, you know, so we're like halfway to that thousand member goal we talked about back in 2011. Yeah. So continue to support the arts and strengthen our community. It's all I can say is that it's been a blast. I'm really glad to have been here the last five years. And I look forward to coming back and seeing what the Paradise is going to have to offer next. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. Uh, I was going to ask you, I know you, you can't really say who some of the candidates are but have there been some pretty good candidates that have stepped forward yeah or? you know there there have been uh you know the the funny story is is that um you know in uh red wing the sheldon theater in red wing uh, mm -hmm. a good friend of mine sean dow is uh, the executive director over there okay. and he's retiring this year so uh they just went through their search for an executive director oh, yeah. so i called sean and i said you know hey give me all your applicants and you know, they officially couldn't do it because it's a city job and whatever, but he told us how they went about advertising for their position, okay. which is really helpful. So we put out um, a national search um, on the uh, APAP Job Bank and Springboard for the Arts and uh, Minnesota um, uh, Presenters Network and Wisconsin's Presenters Network. So we have really done a, a national search for the position for the Paradise. And we've had a lot of applicants, I mean, from all over the United States. Um, uh, some from the Twin Cities Metro, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's been going pretty good. We've had some good candidates in. Uh, we actually have two interviews today before our board meeting. Uh, <laughs> so <clears throat> it's been fun to sit in on the process, too. You know, I've been, you know... Yeah, you're, you're at the other end of it. Yeah, now. you know, so nice. <laughs> um, the board wanted me involved, you know, and uh, and actually, you know, talking to the candidates, you know, before, you know, we sent them to the personnel committee. Yeah. Um, but uh, so we had some good candidates in. You know, I don't really know the time frame, you know, because yeah. obviously, uh, I know the board is looking for the right candidate. Oh, yeah. Um, a good fit. Yeah. And the nice thing is, is that, you know, and I can't say anything more about this than I have to say it 101 times. We have the best staff at the Paradise Center for the Arts. Oh, you know, fantastic. Julie Fockler has been, you know, right by my side for the last four years straight and has really taken that place to the next level. Uh, my bookkeeper, Beverly Haugen, is fantastic, you know, making sure that we stay on task and where we're at financially. We just hired an outstanding young individual, Heather Neal. Um, she's our uh, box office and guest services, and she's really going to take our new, um, I guess, announcement in front of everybody and on camera now to it here in oh, the okay. studio okay. is uh, the Paradise Center for the Arts will be going live online with ticketing, online oh, wow. ticketing. Yeah. Nice. The nice. goal is to start Very that nice. tomorrow. And uh, so she's going to take that by, I mean, really take that to the next level too. So uh, we work, we work, really convenient. yeah, we worked with A&P uh, Design uh, out of uh, Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, um, to really help, um, Make sure that it's not like where you buy a ticket, you have to go to somebody else's site, yeah. you know, to really integrate it into our current website. So it looks like it's very seamless. And uh, so we're really working hard on that and hopefully getting that everything ready to go by tomorrow. So kind of funny that my last day I'm leaving and now I've given you this wonderful gift of online ticketing. But it really comes, yeah, nice. it really comes in the memory of Karen, um, Karen Johnson, uh, George Wickstrom. Uh, is a very, very good friend of ours and a very good donor and um, and his late wife, Karen Johnson. So a lot of this is all because of her and her um, and her legacy that she's left for Faribault. So we're very happy for that. But it's going to be super easy to buy tickets. You can buy them 24-7. Yeah. You can buy them online. When you, you can still buy them at the box office. You can still call us. We'll still use the online ticketing system for that. Um, I will tell you that there will be a dollar seventy-five per ticket transaction fee to use the system. Well, of course, usually, that's the way it usually um, is, though. But yeah. as it's you know, I'm going to opening day next week, and I'm not paying twenty dollars for my you know processing fees for the twins or something. So yeah. it's only you know a dollar seventy-five per ticket, and it's going to just make. And the nice thing for us is we're going to be able to capture the information we need. We've never known names, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers. You know, we'll have purchase history. Mike Eiler likes to come to the theater, yeah, yeah. and now I can send you an email. Here's your five off coupon to try out a comedy show yeah 
you know, so it's really going to take the marketing and communications to the next level as well. So, and, uh, and lastly, of course, you know, on the weekends, um, Palmer Huff, we hired him in January, uh, and he runs the show production coordinator, event coordinator, yeah, and, you know, so in the meantime, if the board doesn't have their new person, I would say it's business as usual. You know, yeah, it sounds like you've got plenty of great support in all the right yeah, areas. Yeah, you know, so the marketing plans keep... are done. The, the radio commercials are booked for the yep. year. The print yep. ads are booked for the year. And so um, it should be uh, it should be pretty seamless. Um, and I'm just super excited. My joke has always been I'm, I'm excited because the next person probably will know what they're doing. <laughs> you know, like I'm a marketing and communications guy. I'm not a art center admin, you know, so uh, so I'm really, really excited for the future of the paradise and I'm looking forward to come back. Well, good luck. I, I appreciate all the hard work you've done there, and it's always been great having you in here in the studio. Thank you. And uh, talking up all the shows and, and getting me into some of the shows That's sometimes. Right. I appreciated that, and good luck in your future endeavors with the Ordway and beyond. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ryan Heinrichs, Executive Director, very last day with very the last day. Center for the Arts here in Fairbowl.